Okay, welcome back again to some Civilization 4 more, uh, Civilization 4 more naval AI mod mod uh, Fall from Heaven 2 action, a bit of the wrong order there, but I will screw it. Going to be continuing on from before, so we had a look at uh, Stephanus's unit card and uh, yeah, generally put, it's not looking too good at all. And uh, what's even worse is that I gave him the freaking, well I didn't actually give it to him, but he stole Orifice's axe from one of my um, units that was up here and uh, he can actually attack multiple times per turn which basically means that this particular match of Civilization 4 might actually uh, well, might actually be almost finished really. There are only two options I might have uh, well actually I suppose there's a third one, the uh, most obvious one is that I hope he doesn't uh, continue his rampage into my uh, Civilization which uh, he probably will continue uh, the second option I have, of course, is uh, to try to gather up pretty much all of my military, or what little of it there is, <laughs> into one single spot where I think he'll attack next, which I think will probably be Tongrestad, since he attacked here. Tongrestad will probably be the next target. So yeah, try to gather up all my military there, try to make a bit of a last stand. Hopefully um, he'll just suicide himself on uh, my units that are within the city. And the third option because there is a nearby continent here that appears to have some terrain that isn't claimed by anyone it seems so it's kind of hard to tell because I haven't explored it at all but uh, the third option is to actually try to well, try to slow down Stephanus and the Barbarian Horde long enough in order to build a... Uh, well, actually not a workboat that can't transport stuff but uh, yeah in order yeah, to um, research sailing so I can build a uh, galley I believe or maybe a tyreem or one of the two and uh, and also a settler so I have to rush that those two things um, yeah build them up and uh, yes yeah, send them off and get them to settle basically on the next continent over and uh, well try to play on from there which would be uh, interesting to say the least not really sure what the hell's up with the fucking frame rate that's uh, yeah, very strange indeed Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, very interesting. Whatever. Alright, so we'll just try to make do of that. Then I guess very strange because if I stop the recording, then the frame rate goes back to normal. But for some reason, it seems doesn't seem to be recording particularly good frame rate. Most of the one I seem to be in this particular area. Very strange. Don't think I was doing that before, but uh, well, whatever. So I suppose I'll go with the second option first, which is try to uh, gather up all my military to one single location, which will probably be Tongrestad. I uh, don't normally reload saved games for Civilization 4 unless if like there's an error or something like that, um, because you know just try to you know just play on from as in an error like a technical error. Yeah, usually I just try to play on from uh, you know mistakes that I make and all that. But uh, in this particular case. I might actually reload just because, uh, well, my civilization's on the ropes, basically. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just send that guy up. These guys, not really sure where the hell to even send them. This is still going to be a bit of a long shot to try to make it happen. I can actually get them sailing any quicker. No, I cannot. Great. Uh, great. Just great. Can I actually. No, I can't rush this. God damn it. Well, not, not just yet, anyway. Well, uh, that's right, Pi Zombies won't be that great, but uh, I won't be able to get an archer that quickly either. Because Stephanos is uh, a demon, he's actually going to be invulnerable to death damage, and uh, he's going to have very high uh, resistance to fire damage. This guy he does plus one fire combat. Well, I'll also be doing no fire combat there. And this diseased corpse, which I also get, which does plus two death combat. Well, he'll be doing basically uh, no death damage because he's Stephanos is invulnerable to that, and I believe he's also got the uh, flying promotion. Uh, let's just have a look, just to make sure. Uh, let's see. Which technically means he could actually jump from one continent to another, but hopefully he won't. I mean, that's all I can really count on. So yes, he's got flying the ability to fly. Which I believe is given to things like Hawks, a uh, unit that you, you can build, get them to fly out, and all that. Uh, and it gives plus one movement range, of course. Great, so that's going to be uh, interesting. And oh, look at that, now the frame rate's back to normal. Okay, so did that happen when after I opened the Civilopedia? Well, whatever, in either case, let us continue onwards. 
And I'm go going to have to basically just rush out soldiers on all fronts. Actually, I'm not really sure how. Well, that's I've got free population. That's not going to really work. So, so much for building the planet gates. Ugh. Oh well. So that'll just have to wait. Okay, well we can rush that out, I suppose. But uh, it definitely was a bit of a learning experience, this game. Okay, I guess I'll try to rush him out. Yeah, it definitely was a uh, learning experience. I definitely, uh, next time, I'll need to expand much more quickly. And, uh, well, I'll just have to try not to cut so many corners with my military. Which is what basically I've been doing the entire game. Barely enough to hold back the barbarians, even. Let alone a powerful unit like Stephanos, one of the uh, Harbingers of Doom, or uh, Horseman of the Apocalypse, can't remember what the hell the, his official description was meant to be, but whatever. And uh, what was the third thing? Oh yeah, that's right, the third thing was I was being very careless with uh, the Slavery Civic, or rather in uh, sacrificing population to get stuff out more uh, quickly. I should have used that much more sparingly, and uh, more so to trim the fat from from excess population rather than uh, to reduce the population down to uh, to bloody less than five in some cases. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. I don't normally use that civic to be honest. All I know is that these workers are most likely not going to be safe. Where the hell should I even send them actually? I guess I could get them to work on something. Not that it really matters anyway. Where's Tundra? Actually, oh yeah, that's right. Going to have a nexus of food there. Yeah, whatever. Let's just send them over here and these these guys. Well, we should have nexus of food here. Oh, that's right. I've got sacrifice of the week actually, which should synergize pretty well with slavery because sacrifice of the week basically means that uh, yeah, food consumption of the populace is halved. So that means it's going to go up way more quickly, especially since uh, many of my cities should have at least a granary and uh, also a smokehouse. So yeah, 40% of food after growth with them combined. Hopefully that's how the game calculates it. <coughs> so, yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, I should have just stuck with Apprenticeship until I can basically get uh, Sacrifice a Week, really, so I can make full use of um, Slavery, or I could have just stuck with Slavery anyway and just, uh, well, not sacrifice my population so readily. So, oh well. Oh, that's right, we've still got freaking blights to worry about as well. So yes, there's uh, something something bringing up the... Yeah, something bringing up the Armageddon Counter. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, okay, I can actually hurry this. <sighs> God help me. Oh no, wait a minute, I could have hurried the archer. Damn it, that would have been a better idea. Well, we'll see how that works. I don't think it'll be so close that... Uh, Jesus. Okay, I think we'll just build a, a cottage there. I don't think it'll be so close that it'll make much of a difference, but still. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll improve Graveling a bit, a bit more, just for the hell of it. And we'll see what the next turn will bring. Will he come straight for me? Or will he actually go somewhere else? Man, I wish I had some sort of invisible unit or something. Oh, okay, here we go. Wait a minute. He can actually do that? And I can't even retaliate. Huh, well... So... Uh, if he dies, I hope to god he doesn't drop the items on top of that fucking mountain. That'd be bloody ridiculous. Well still, that's actually... Huh. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's just go back over that. Oh, for god's sake, put it over there. Captured, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay, so he was actually weakened pretty significantly there. Interesting. Too bad I can't do anything. Alright, so we'll just have to leave that guy there, I suppose. And uh, Yeah, actually, yeah, given how fast Stephanos is... Uh, let's see, six movement points. Yeah, I, I don't think I would have been able to set up much of a... Uh, defensive line anyway, actually. Whoops. So, probably not much point moving these guys over there. I guess I could just... Get him to build a road then, these guys to... Well, hopefully he's not going to go for my workers. Although, if he does, actually... Huh. Well, actually, I could possibly, um... Dispatch him. And get his items, because I'm not really sure what would happen if he gets dispatched to the top of the mountain. Ah, well, I'll just get him to build and see what happens on the next turn. 
So he'll hopefully just kill himself on the next defender. Man, the suspense is killing me. Oh, fuck me. Shit, Andy. Okay, Andy apparently heals up. Ah, he must have the March promotion, even though I don't actually see it there. Although he does he apparently heal up as he goes along. Oh no, this is... This is not good at all. Shit. Nope, okay, it's nice to build a road at the very least, I suppose. <laughs> oh shit, well... Right now, maybe I can just try to get a planner gate anyway, not it's going to make much difference. Well, let's see what he does now, actually. I'm not entirely sure where he's going. I mean, why would he go on top of that hill? Is he going to heal up there? I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that I fucking... I almost would have had him there if it wasn't for the fact that uh, he was on top of that mountain. In any case, we've got sailing. She's a dangerous wench. <laughs> Indeed. So what, what do we have here? Blah blah blah. Okay, so Tyrem. The galley is more for transporting stuff. No problem. Well, I think we actually killed him. I'll just have a look at their messages over, but uh, yeah, Pi Zombie has killed him. <laughs> well, that that was actually much easier than I thought it'd be. If I knew that was going to happen, I wouldn't have actually um, built up all those extra Pi Zombies and sacrificed population. Well, I won't reload, but. Uh, <laughs> I'll be damned, I defeated one of the uh, the horsemen of the apocalypse. Well, certainly uh, wasn't expecting that. Huh, okay. Well, what to go for next then, that's a question. I was kind of prepared to have to make a bit of a last stand, probably uh, have to quit or maybe even retreat to a different continent, but uh, apparently I don't need to worry about that, bizarrely enough. Alright, well. Uh, let's see, let's see, blah blah blah, what the hell is this thing? Requires necromancy and death manner, which we do have. Ah, uh, Zaymans. I think someone else has already got that. I'll probably want to get that at some point. Yeah, might as well get priesthood, I suppose. <laughs> Although, wait a minute. I, sh I should really be getting adepts out. Uh, those magical adepts. So I can get eventually upgrade them to your mages. What do I even need for that? Okay, sorcery. Okay, no problem. Well, in the meantime, let's go for priesthood so I can get my uh, ritualists as well. What if way of the wise is really necessary? It's good for undead slaying and demon slaying, I suppose. But yeah, fuck it, let's just get priesthood. So there we go, I'm still in the game. Bizarrely enough. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, let's see, damn it. I would go for that if it didn't give me extra unhappiness, but it does give me Scourge promotion for units built in this city. And experience the amount of units. Well, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'll really be using this thing as a production hub anyway. I'll definitely want to grow it up a bit more, that's for sure, but thankfully at the very least, yeah, we're going to have massive growth rates. So what the hell, maybe I will be able to continue making use of... Um, <coughs> sorry, continue making use of uh, slavery and uh, actually have it be viable as well. <laughs> Interesting. Well, in any case, uh, next thing to build... Ah, yes. Yeah, they cannot forget it. Blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute. Plus room... Ah, oh, okay, from civilization, so that's from the uh, civics. Appears that blight is no longer affecting Grotteberg. Uh, let's see. Well, since it is going to become unhealthy, I suppose I should try to get something... Okay, maybe not that. Something a bit cheaper out. Let's see, just to raise the health. No, actually, that's not such a bad idea. Probably still 22 turns for that. Ah, here we go. Well, it's better than nothing. And they have it. We at least do have a couple of extra higher zombies to play with. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, that's where we got the smokehouse. And the granary says it's going to grow pretty freaking fast. Well, this is... So an interesting turn of events, to say the least. And so his blights are no longer affecting... Uh, okay, well, jungle, of course, I'll have to cut that down. What about the, our biggest city? Nope, actually, blight is no longer affecting us. Perfect Amanda, I still want to rush this out as quickly as possible. And what the hell, maybe I can actually afford to be a bit... Uh, well, yeah, look at this food that I've got coming in. Yeah, I can probably afford to uh, be a bit more liberal of my use of the uh, slavery civic. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's well, that's what we'll be doing here. Yeah, we'll continue improving Steinvik. Yeah, let's see, so we've got the... What 
is this? Uh, the pig resource sounds good to me. Oh, and the smokehouse adds additional health for that too. Sounds good to me. Now uh, let's see. What about the next thing to get? Well, uh, granary will still need to wait for ages for that. Uh, I probably want to get a workboat. Actually, no, wait a minute. I want to get a lighthouse probably and then a workboat. Or I could get a workboat beforehand. But in any case, I definitely want to get access to clam and crabs just to get clam and crabs. <laughs> Not bad. Anyway, access to clam and crabs so I can get the extra health from them. Man, I really need to get rid of this freaking fort as well. At least they're not trying to attack me or anything, I guess. Yeah, right, so how are we going for food? Okay, not too... Plus 11, of course, going to be us swimming in food, essentially. Well, we could probably could do with more production in that case, so let's... Actually... Yeah, actually, what the hell, let's get rid of the jungle at the same time. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see, well, do we have an excess of pyro zombies now? I suppose I could actually send them towards... The uh, south while I'm at it. How many do I actually have? Oh, okay, actually, looks like I lost my archer, but this guy survived. So, what exactly happened since I've got the, uh, well, I've got the quick move setting on, which basically means that well, everything moves so quickly, um, well, it doesn't actually show the movements of the enemies really. But anyway, let's have a look. Okay then. Interesting. Alright, well, basically put, this extra pie zombie is what managed to save Tongurstad. <laughs> Not too shabby. So I suppose we'll continue production of the Planner Gates since the uh, Armageddon count is so high. Uh, let's see, as for this guy. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, just give him a general strength upgrade, I guess. Get him to fortify. New problemi. And yeah, then so Oh well, actually I should probably pick that stuff up actually. Whoops. Actually Crown of Commands, that would really come in handy. I read the uh description for that that basically uh, gr gives a thirty percent chance to uh capture defeated living units like these guys right here actually. It wouldn't be well, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to have them on my side if I can actually get them on my side that is. So I'll definitely need to get more of a military up, that's for sure, but uh Wow, defeating Stephanos was much easier than I thought it'd be. He, uh, that's so bizarre. I must have... Okay, I suppose I did have a bit of a defensive bonus in the city and all that, but still, that's... Well, that's basically what saved me, really, having such a massive bonus like that. Uh, let's see... see. Ah, okay, so the Pi Zombie from Galvanheim must have made it to Tungustad. Okay, so that's the extra one that survived. Everything else got killed off, so Tungustad barely hanging by a thread. <laughs> Incredible, simply incredible. What the hell has this thing got? Ah, okay, resist fire. I'm pretty sure this thing's got resistance to... Oh, never mind, no, the undead do not have resistance to fire. Right then. Okay, we'll get him actually to capture this stuff instead. This guy can just stay in the city. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. What the hell, let's get this other guy to go with him as well. Bam. Just get him to... There we go, just stay in position, wait for, to see what happens the next turn around. Right then, I don't think I lost any workers in that exchange either. Pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, right then, well, on to the next turn, I guess. So I'm still very much behind when it comes to score and pretty much everything else, but... Uh, well... I am slowly making my way, my way up, I guess. Uh, let's see. Really? They actually want to wave the wicked? Yeah, too bad. It's no Rose Garden. Uh, of course, they're going to be furious with me. Yeah, it's a pretty strange um, match, this one. I'll just go to the uh, foreign advisor. Yeah, no one seems to be at war with anyone else, and yet the uh, Armageddon counter still... It still keeps going up. Slowly but steadily. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, it's... Well, whatever, this guy's probably actually trying to go after these artifacts, and he ain't gonna get them. Okay, good, so we've captured that, I suppose. Just give it to... damn it. Okay, never mind, but get them both to take this then. Wait a minute, can't he also take this axe as well, or... I guess he gets that. 
Huh, that's interesting. Well, let's... Okay, we'll get him to take the axe. Okay, uh, maybe I need to wait a turn until they can take another rider, maybe. Didn't you knew? Just didn't you knew? God damn, that's so annoying. Ah, God. No. Wait a minute, growth control? Why the hell do I have growth control? They should be growing. I want them to grow as quickly as possible. Uh, how the hell do I actually get it to do that? To emphasize food. Okay. How can it be stagnant growth control? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, if we turn this thing off. I think someone else might have actually been. Okay. Okay. That's what we got there. I think someone else might have complained of this bug. But I thought that there was uh, just a relatively simple way to fix it. How could it be stagnant? Oh, wait a minute. It still says one there. And one there. So if we go to the next turn, what will happen? Will they actually go up in population? Okay, no, they won't. <sighs> Great. Oh, at least this guy can take both faction. That's pretty good. Be nice to recruit some of these barbarians to our cause, I guess. Oh shit! Yeah, talk about. They're going to have to make their way as quickly as possible down here. It seems. Actually, I should be able to by the time these guys reach there. So, all right. Uh, really? Maybe I should try to convert this guy already. But in any case, that's. Uh, God damn it. After going through all of this, don't tell me I've got a fucking... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, now we've still got growth control there. Why do I have growth control? I never enabled that. I mean, granted... It... Wait a minute. Oh, right. They need an archer there, of course. Damn it. That's what's pissing them off as well. Because, yeah, these uh, pie zombies, they don't provide that military happiness. Maybe this archer can actually provide it. In any case, I still need to figure out what the hell's going on there. So, okay, good. Yeah, I don't. I don't care if they're angry. I just want them to grow so I can sacrifice them, basically. Okay, so that's apparently going to keep growing. Okay, and we'll just turn off this as well. I mean, ordinarily I'd want to avoid angry citizens, but at the same time I'd rather have uh, excess population to sacrifice, to be honest. Okay then. Alright, well, so if we go here, that'll still... Okay, we'll still be on the road, so... Bam, Axemen and Archer. Yeah, I think my Archer should be able to take them on. These guys will go here. Okay, yeah, that should be alright. Alright, well, let's defeat this guy and see if we can capture him, perhaps. Ah, god damn it. Oh well, what can you do? Damn, too bad I didn't give this guy a march or anything like that. <clears throat> Actually, now I'm really wishing. Uh, what do I have? Yeah, I've got bloody industrious. Now I'm really wishing I went with the other shame leader to get better uh, arcane units, but. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really sure why I actually went with uh, Industrious, with Industrious Osgar Bella, since I, uh, well, I don't even even have the tech for Forge, and I haven't built any Wonders yet either. In fact, I haven't even built any National Wonders. What Wonders can I even build, actually? Okay. So none of that. Well, although this one I just need to build a, build a couple of libraries. I'm not even sure if I've got the tech. Oh, actually, I do have the tech to build libraries. What do you know? Uh, actually, oh no, that's... Uh, Oh, that's that ritual. Yeah. Great. And I believe the Armageddon counter has again gone up, but I'm not really sure what exactly made it do that. I know in general it goes up when bad things happen. Actually, do I have any spare archers, I wonder? Ah, oh, that's right, I'm going to get a pie zombie out of there as well. Yeah, whatever. And uh, no, I don't think I do, actually. Well, whatever. These guys should be alright to... Uh, work unassisted, hopefully. So we've got them working here. Galvin home should be... That's going to be swimming in food, I suppose. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's put up a uh, cottage here as well. There we go. Just so that they uh, 
citizens have got something else to work there. Victor Mando. Yeah, I really was hoping I could just capture that archer, because yeah, now these guys are going to be pissed off. Now, you know, planner gates still have not given anything out. I mean, granted, I think I've only got like one planner gate, but still. Someone's declared war on me, eh? Fessa Basium. Ah, okay, so it looks like the Mercurians are allied with uh, the Lord of Swire, and it seems that the Mercurians are also in the game, actually. I'm not really sure why I didn't notice that. So there we go, we've got both Angels and Mercurians. Sounds good to me. Uh, actually, what the hell, I guess I'll give them that. Why not? Oh, can't establish that. Well, <laughs> better than nothing. So they declared war, declared war on me. I'm not really sure how much of a difference that's really going to make, to be honest. I mean, we do have the oldest one around here. I'm not really sure where the hell the Mercurians are. But really, I really should have explored a hell of a lot more, actually. It's just that my early exploration attempts were basically... Oh, okay. Oh my god, how much shit do I need to cut my way? Anyway, my early attempts were thwarted by barbarians, and then I course, kind of just uh, gave up after that. God. These fucking guys. Alright, well, let's just put him here. Get this guy here as well. Actually, wait a minute. Alright, what the hell, let's get him. Oh no, I can't get him to take both, can I? Nope. I... Shit, I should have fought that for a bit more. Ah, well, whatever. <laughs> we'll just get him to defend this guy here while he reinforces that city. He's fucking barbarians. <laughs> ah, well. So there we go. We actually finally do have a war happening. And, of course, it's on me. Because I'm such... Uh, well, my, my military is uh, so freaking weak. <laughs> God damn. Hopefully those planner gates will actually spawn something out. I really hope they do. Well, in any case, let's see if I can capture some barbarian units at the very least. I'll actually provide... Killed by holy damage? What the fuck is doing holy damage? What the... God's name is going on here? Ah, great. Ah, oh, okay. Not really sure why that really matters, but anyway. Uh, what the hell is going on there? Why the hell did Basium convert to Fellowship of Leaves? I don't know. In any case, for some reason we've actually got Pi Zombies being damaged by holy damage, despite the fact that the only thing I can see... Wait a minute, player has cast Divine Retribution. Oh, that might be it, actually. Ah, okay. What the hell is Divine Re Retribution exactly? Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. It's a world spell. Ah, uh, of course, of course. Well, at least this guy's still alive, I guess. Uh, what's it in? Man, these planet gates better be fucking worth it. I haven't done much so far. Actually, can I rush this one? Should I rush it? Actually, yes. I believe the amount of food I've got. Why not? This one. Yeah, it should be right. Fuck it. And it's actually reducing the uh, unhappiness as well. Who to think? Uh, oh shit, that's actually quite a few lizardmen now that, now that I think of it. Ah uh, shit, that actually might t take over Tungulstad. Maybe we should have rushed out something else instead. Oopsie long. Well, we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, okay, yep. Oh dear. No, yeah, I'm not going to go for that. Uh, let's see, what can I try? Ah, fuck it. No. Great. Actually, mobility one doesn't sound too bad. Shit, I've lost Tongurstad. This is uh, looking to be pretty bad for me, to say the least. Actually, what the hell, let's just go for that. Alright, we've got that. I suppose we'll uh, want to get a pie zombie out, and I can actually rush him if I want to. Gotta help me, why not? <laughs> I know that's reducing the population way too much, but still. And now we've got these guys all coming on to me as well. I won't reload though, I won't reload. But, uh. I'm definitely going to be, uh. kind of miffed. Actually, I'm 
maybe I can get him to take on both of these guys. Let's just have a look. Going to be a bit miffed at my situation there. At least they didn't uh, raise it, so I suppose that's better than nothing.